The sculptures from Smithfield's Market, um, and they originally had a smaller building on the side that was a fishmonger's, um, and we're putting the sculptures that are missing back, so there'd be four intertwined dolphins and two pooty with dolphins. And we get a feel for where the sculptures are going. Then we can look at uh, adjacent bits of um, ornament or bits of masonry, and then we can kind of get a gauge of the, the, the scale of where we need to go to. We'll make an armature for each each element of the of the piece of sculpture, um, which is a kind of structure or a sort of skeleton for uh, the piece that we're making. And then we'll add on the clay, um, and then it, 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 it takes its shape from there. And it's because it's a malleable thing, we can move it around to how we see it fits. The purpose of the clay maquette is the reference to carve from. Uh, so when we have our block in the yard, we'll have our clay model next to us um, and then we'll be kind of copying the clay into the stone. All the information's there in three dimensions. And then the stone takes its own path and then turns into its own sculpture. We can change things around. I mean, this face must have been modelled five or six times. Uh, well, obviously in the stone, we don't have that flexibility. So we make all of our sort of creative decisions in the maquette. Um, which then enables us to then carve um, straight to the dimensions that the maquette has given us. It will take about two months to carve a intertwined dolphin and to carve a pooty and dolphin will take about three months. I think there's about a third of a tonne's worth of clay on this one and, and maybe a quarter of a tonne on the intertwined dolphins. Um, and the stone for this one is about two and a half tonne and the intertwined dolphin is about two tonne. We're going to be using Portland stone, um, which is sort of generally used quite a lot in London. Um, fantastic for carving. Um, it's soft enough to kind of, so the chisel is quite malleable in it, but it's also hard enough. It will last a long time.